All right, roll us home. I told you there was three videos, but we still have one more to do. We had four C's. So we got four, all right? You get an extra one. So again, my name is James Jacoby. I help entrepreneurs and business owners scale their companies, whether you're a mid startup to maybe seven figures, you want to get to eight, you want a two, three, four, five extra business. I bring tactical sales strategy, a bulletproof sales process, and empowering bold sales leadership to get you to where you want to go. So we're wrapping this thing up. Hope you got some value out of the last few. Send me some questions if you have them. I want to help you. Cashing in. What does that mean? What is cashing in? This means you got the deal done, and now it's time to optimize everything. You want to optimize and make sure that you get everything you can out of all the hard work you just put in to, the, to getting this new deal, all right? So there's four things that you need to do to make sure you are perfecting and optimizing yourself, your team, and your client. Ready? So first one is you need high. I mean, ultra high touch points. What I don't mean with your client. What I don't mean is I don't mean emailing them every single day, leaving them voicemails every single day, texting them, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? We don't want to be an annoying like, boyfriend, girlfriend, right? <laughs> we all know what that feels like, right? Or even clients or vendors that you've dealt with in the past, we know what that feels like. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is we need to deliver the expert level service now that we've brought, and we're going to show them what that looks like. What is the world class service that you are going to give your clients? That's what I'm talking about. So if you do nothing else, I highly recommend you do a couple things. One, is and this is this is so simple, but like no one does this, and it is game changer to make sure you don't derail from your deal and your ongoing engagement. Okay, really, really powerful one thing right here is do a stand in schedule meeting every week. Every week, same time, same place. If you can do Zoom or video conference call, even better. It makes it easier to hold the meeting because everyone's doing 20 different things. Get this on the calendar every week and, and make sure that the invites are out and you made it clear that communication is critical for the success of this ongoing engagement that we're gonna do together. You can't just magically flip your fingers and expect everything to be better, right? No one, I mean, no one does that, right? You can't expect that. We have to remind them, now that you've bought, now you gotta let us do our, our magic. But what I, what I don't want you to do is just forget and like, just pretend it's gonna be magically be great. It's gonna take some time for us to get you that result that we promised you. And the, order, and the best way we can make sure it's done for you is if you stay in touch with us and we talk about what's going on in your company and how we're delivering for you. So get this on the calendar. This is huge. It's huge. Okay. Number two is you need to have clear, 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 clear roles and assignments with your team. You are the business owner. You are not supposed to do everything. You know that. Don't do it. Let go of the control. You've got teams. You've got people on your team. Empower them. Give them the structure and the role in the sandbox that they're supposed to play in to, to make this unbelievable experience happen and empower them to go crush it. They want to serve you well. They want to prove to you and, and themselves and the client that they can do it. Give them some room to play with, okay? Give them a nice sandbox. Give them clear roles and get out of their way. Get out. Trust. Trust your team. When you trust your team, they trust and like you more. They need that room to breathe, okay? Um, clear roles, super huge, all right? Clear roles. Number three, all right? Number three is net promoter score. This is used in many, many industries, okay? 
you don't know what this is, I will explain it to you. It's very simple. All this is, guys, is, hey, I'm going to give you a survey um, every in the first after two weeks and every 13 weeks. You can change this up however you want, but it's really simple. On a scale of 1 to 10, which is a 0 to 10, how would you rate our experience? How would you rate your experience with us? 0 to 10. Nines and tens are promoters. Seven and eights are, are passive, which is not great, by the way. And zero to six are detractors. They're saying bad things about you behind your back to the world, to social, right? Companies that get nines and tens that have a net, a net, which is the promoters minus the detractors on average. And by the way, it's really tough to get good scores, okay? A 70 percent is world-class southwest uh nordstrom apple okay they're up there there's a lot of companies also that that you know of that are not up there that are not doing well but companies that get world-class scores guys they can four five six x their their profits in in less than two years okay there's massive data correlation to this that when you pulse your clients and get feedback continuously and you then use it to improve your own operations to get better this will dramatically help you scale your company okay i can't look this up if you don't know what i'm talking about go google this research you need this in your business yesterday get it in there right so we talked about high touch points clear roles net promoter score those are, are three key things and the last thing guys is scoreboard okay scoreboard your own results and your goals we talked about this a little bit in a different video but i want you to have in your in your office with your team if you're all virtual make sure you bring a a, a uh, whiteboard with you on your meetings on video conference and have this scoreboard in lights this is your goals of what you need to do and this is the results that you've gotten that, that are your wins, okay? And when you get your results, they're, they're milestones, right? You cross them off, cross them off. And, and as things go on over time, you're going to see all these wins, all these successes that you've achieved that are incredible. And it's very, very motivating to show this to your team over and over again. If look at the track and the journey we've made. Look at this board game. Look at how far we've made it down this map and this road to get to our ultimate goal. Scoreboarding is massively motivating and, and hugely helping you stay accountable to the vision and the mission of what you're trying to do, okay? So do these things. This is how you optimize your business after you get the deal, all right? Go crush it. Send me some comments and questions and let's crush 2019.